A lot has been said recently about contraception and the religious right's opposition to businesses being forced to cover it in their company health care plans. And people have called this attitude the war on women, but this is not even close to being the worst of the religious rights attitudes towards women's rights. There are laws being proposed in parts of the United States that would mandate that any woman who suffers a miscarriage be investigated for illegally terminating her pregnancy. It's bad enough that any woman who gets an abortion is regarded as a murderer by conservatives. This kind of law would treat any woman who's had the misfortune of having a miscarriage as a suspected murderer. Women who are already going through the trauma of having lost a pregnancy would be subjected to the indignity of being investigated for a capital offense. And to those of you who support laws like this, you realize you're the bad guys, right? You realize that if evil exists, this is fucking it, right? I mean, who drafts a law like this? Darth Vader? Whoever it was, I can only imagine that in the process they were twirling their mustache and laughing like Dr. Evil. And which women do you think this is really going to be enforced upon? Do you really think that the governor's wife is going to be handcuffed and taken downtown if she suffers a miscarriage? This kind of law, if passed, would only be enforced against the poor. Another example of conservative hatred for women was back in 2005 when Californians rejected Proposition 73. This proposition would have made it illegal to perform an abortion on a minor without notifying the parents first. When Californians rejected this law, conservatives were outraged. And some of them even went so far as to say that any parent who voted against Proposition 73 should have their children taken away from them. To those who believe that, I would like to propose a couple of scenarios, and I would like you to tell me which you would think would be worse. In scenario A, your daughter gets pregnant and she wants to end the pregnancy, so she goes to an abortion clinic and gets an abortion without your notification or consent. In scenario B, your daughter gets pregnant and she wants to end the pregnancy, but she lives in a place where one of these parental notification laws is in place, and she doesn't want you to find out, so she doesn't go to an abortion clinic. Instead, she attempts to perform her own abortion and either severely injures herself or perhaps even kills herself in the process. If you are in favor of these parental notification laws, you are a effectively saying that you would rather take the risk of scenario B over scenario A. And if you would rather run the risk of your daughter trying to perform her own abortion than going to an abortion clinic, then you are a far shittier parent than you are accusing anybody else of being.